Cottonwood Crossing Summer Institute at Cottonwood Canyon State Park is a place of beauty where Oregon State Parks, the Greater Eastern Regional Solutions Center, Eastern Oregon University, the Oregon Parks Foundation, and the Greater Oregon STEM Hub collaborate with an interest in exposing students to an authentic outdoor learning experience and build relationships between rural students, college faculty, and career professionals. Thanks to the Oregon Parks Foundation in June 2018, the State Park will provide visitors with an experience center, cabins, and restroom facilities for educational use. Cottonwood Canyon State Park is Oregon's newest park and education is its mission. CCSI brings together high school students and teachers from rural schools all over Eastern Oregon to explore in nature with professionals. During the week, students explore authentic applications of fieldwork and filmmaking while touching on community issues related to land use and how our lives are connected to the watershed. Curriculum for students changes each year but is always based on the central theme of a million drops of water. This refers to the life-giving water that flows through the canyon as the John Day River. In today's world, students need opportunities for hands-on learning with disciplined professionals. CCSI provides such practical experience in the beautiful setting of the Cottonwood Canyon State Park. At Cottonwood Canyon, in June, high school students spend a week, Sunday through Friday, camping in and learning from the watershed alongside park rangers, college faculty, and state specialists to research topics relevant to the park setting. During this week, students are mentored by Eastern Oregon University students, while secondary teachers participate in discussions of the best practices for hands-on learning in these disciplines. Hi, my name is Brian Mandela, and this is my second year as a mentor at Cottonwood Crossing Summer Institute. And I think the coolest thing, the thing that gets me most stoked about Cottonwood Canyon is the scale of it all. Uh, not only is the canyon huge and beautiful, but it's also the growth and how much impact these students will have on other people as well. The state park's 8,000 acres along the lower John Day River provides eager learners with an abundance of natural resources to interact with and learn from. From the vast cliffside panorama overlooking the rugged canyon carved away by the river's power over thousands of years, to the surprising abundance of life in these arid, rocky grasslands. Campers learn to stop and notice all the natural splendor around them. Hi, my name is Harmony, and if I were to describe uh, this institute, I would say that it's a very good opportunity to meet new people, to work together with them, um, to solve problems and to research and learn new, new things. Um, it's also a very good uh, opportunity to be immersed in nature because I feel like that's important for everyone and just to go back to simplicity for a little while and enjoy the nature all around and the people you're working with. During this week, the students come together into four groups where they work as teams in hands-on projects to understand the elemental forces around them. The first group was in and around the John Day River to understand its hydrology by measuring the average flow rate and sampling the biological diversity of the river. This helped the students see the importance of the health of the river and the impact it has on the entire ecosystem. My name is Grace and when I came to Cottonwood I didn't really know what to expect. Mostly I went because all of my friends were like, oh you should come, it's so much fun, we go here every year. And so I went and it was a really good experience. I was on the solar group and it's really cool to think that I've only been here like a few days and I've gotten so much accomplished and it kind of, it makes you feel really productive and really like a more of a person, I guess you could say. So that was my experience at Cottonwood. It was, it was good and I had a lot of fun. The second group worked with an Oregon Parks botanist to measure the riparian zone river growth to determine the health of the habitat and detect vegetation change over time. The students learned kinds of measuring and surveying methods such as line and belt intercept land plotting and mapping invasive species. Hi, my name is Donovan and 
I've been a mentor here at Cottonwood for two years now, and I think the most impressive thing about this program is to see the reactions of all the students I'm mentoring and the light in their eyes when they actually get to perform these hands-on activities that we do here. And I think that's just really inspiring for me because I want to be a teacher in my life and it's just a great opportunity to get kids involved in hands-on activities and to show that science can be done outdoors. The third group helped document the entire camp experience by making a video with an oral history story. Since its opening in 2013, Cottonwood Canyon instills its visitors with an appreciation of the natural environment and of the people who settled there over time. The video explains the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife's efforts to reintroduce bighorn sheep to the canyon as part of their efforts to restore the ecosystem to what it naturally was before man's interference. The students interviewed one of the scientists involved, capturing B-roll footage, audio, and editing the pieces together to make a story. Hi, my name is Caitlin, and one thing that I've learned about over my whole time this week at Cottonwood Summer Institute would have to be running audio. I knew absolutely nothing about it coming in and it's been an amazing experience. I've made so many friends and I've learned so much about not only wildlife but the film industry and I've even learned how to conduct a successful interview, which I'll need those skills in life. The fourth and final group worked on an innovative project to build park benches with solar panels attached to them as a way to harness the sun's renewable energy to recharge our personal electronics. These students had to be creative and work hard to use new technology and tools to come up with a sensible and sustainable solution for our electronic needs that doesn't harm the environment. I'm Joshua and this is my second year at uh, Cottonwood Canyon Summer Institute. And I would describe CCSI as a fun but educational adventure that you get to do. Although you learn like you a uh, hands-on way, you still get to do it in a fun way and you get to meet new people while doing it. I was part of the solar engineering um, group this year, which we built solar panels to go on tables, which was really fun, exciting, and I got to learn how to use how to, uh, more electronics and more hardware in general. Overall, Cottonwood Crossing Summer Institute reinforces the students' sense of being. They learn to better understand and appreciate the beauty of the world, and that academic knowledge and skills can be gathered from and applied to the natural world. They learn the strategies that experts use to operate in and study the natural world, enhancing their natural learning and marketable skills they possess. They learn to collaborate with one another to produce information sought or a product required by a client. They learn confidence in themselves to operate successfully in the natural world and in college level courses. As one EOU mentor describes, from the physical environment to the camaraderie around the campfire each night, the experience is both fulfilling and enlightening. Each night, stories from throughout the day were shared, each with an enthusiasm that I have not seen in students since grade school. We all share this planet, so we must do our best to understand and conserve the precious natural resources that the Cottonwood Canyon State Park provides.